This is Dave, aka Freak from VP, and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on uh, an effect I've been doing lately. It's just an effect that kind of gives uh, an app a little bit more drama, or dramatic look. Anyways, this is the app here that we're going to be working on. I just grabbed it off the page. You can see here before and after already. But anyways, uh, this is how I got to there. First, I uh, start off by making a duplicate, and from there we go to uh, Image Adjust Levels, and you want to bring these two arrows down, and what you're trying to do is to get the highlight area of the face. And you don't want it like too too much. You want to kind of smooth it out a little. Okay, so something around there looks about right. You hit OK. I'm going to duplicate the original again and then take the one we just made and I'm going to do a Lumacy and then I'm going to merge down and I'm going to duplicate it again. Okay, so you can see what we did is pretty dramatic difference. A lot of darks in there now and uh, a little bit choppy there, so we're going to go to filter here and we're going to go to blur and uh, Gaussian blur, and somewhere between two and three is usually the right amount. I'm going with two this time, and that's a little bit softer. Now I'm going to duplicate the original again, bring it up underneath the one we just did, highlight the one we just did, and I'm going to go to my uh, blending options again, and I'm going to go down to multiply. And for multiply, I'm going to bring this over to bring the original one kind of in, and you just sort of like play with it. That's the original, and that's what we've done with it so far. And you, you want something in between that suits your eye for what you're doing. And basically, I'm just looking basically at the face tones right now, the face, and the skin. I ain't worried about the hair or the eyes or anything like that. Just working, looking at the face. So I'm thinking right around, right around 76% I got. Seems about right to me. So I'm gonna merge this down now. Merge it down. Make a duplicate. Okay, and uh, going to bring the original again underneath the one we just did. And I'm going to go in here and click this mask. And go here to my brush tool. Bring it down to size, make sure it's on black, and I'm going to come back in here and maybe take my opacity down to about 6 or so, and it's, uh, I want to get the original eye color back in there. I don't want it 100% because it looks really kind of creepy looking, but you just want to get some of that eye color back in there, and then uh, turn back to black in and maybe get some of that some of that hair back too so all you were really concentrating on was the skin like I said before so I'll get some of that original hair color back like so okay I'm going to go here and I'm going to merge down again I'm going to duplicate again and uh, usually when you do multiply it tends to make your, the skin really red which I don't like so to fix that, I'm going to go back here to Image, Adjust, Black and White. I do the Auto, hit OK. And here I'm going to go to my paste it again on the layer of the black and white layer we just did. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. You can slide it down, and this is the color if the two are much red, and there's a black and white. And you just concentrate on the skin tones. Just slide it back and forth till you uh, get to the one you kind of like. And I'm thinking right around 45 is right for this particular instance. And again, I'm going to go click my mask, get a brush, get about a 9 brush, and make sure it's black. And I'm going to bring the eyes back in and bring some of the color hair back. And you don't necessarily have to do like every strand on the hair well, it has a bunch, just like do like little streaks along the uh, the shape of the hair and you'll it'll make it look like she has highlights and I'm also going to bring in her lip color back in and 
that's pretty much it merge it down again make another duplicate again and now uh, her skin's a little bit kind of pixelated from what we've done in the mostly from the multiply mode so I'm going to blur it with my blur tool and just concentrating on the skin tones and on the skin and stay away from the eyes and it's going to go through and uh, soften up her skin pretty much everywhere keep trying to stay away from the hair and the lips and the eyes and the nose so much so there's her skin pretty soft I'm going to duplicate that again and uh, another thing I like to do sometimes is go to filter Topaz Labs, Topaz Labs 3, and I go down to my portrait drama, hit OK, and that tends to bring up a little bit more of the hair highlights and, and her skin tone, but it's a little bit too strong. So I'm just going to bring that down to about, uh, I don't know, about 50, 55, somewhere in there. And I like the tones from the one before, so again, I'm going to use the mask to mask out what the last filter did, and it's going to go over the skin again, over her face, stay away from her nose and lips and mouth. Let's cover the whole area. And from there, I merge down once again, and I'm going to duplicate my layer again. And one of the last things I do on most masks when I finish, I go to Filter, Photo Wiz, Focal Blade, and from here I go to uh, Select a Sharpen Pro, and I like my anti-alias on, and I sort of just scooch this over till I can see a little bit of a difference and hit OK and then again you can see how it brought up like the details in her eyes and lips and hair and everything but again it is too strong so I'm just going to go to my opacity bring the opacity down again about 42 percent again I'm going to make a mask layer make sure it's on black Let me bring this up and again I'm I uh, kind of like the original effect of what we had below so I'm just going to go again on over the skin and nose and keep it away from the eyes nose and lips and everything just retain that smooth skin look I go over top of everything the hair the nose and once I'm happy with everything Pretty much got the whole thing going on there. I'm going to merge it down again. And that's pretty much it. And here's the original. You can see the original, and this is what we've done to it. You can see it's a lot more dramatic looking. And uh, the skin tones are a lot more softer and uh, much more uh, blended in. A little bit blurry, kind of has a soft look to it. But in the end, that's pretty much what we were going for a more dramatic look. And uh, as you can see, here's a little collage I did of some other ones over here, where you can see the before and the after on each one. It's basically the same technique that I used on uh, all of them. I obviously changed the hair color on the, the blonde here, but anyways, that's basically the before and after. Anyways, uh, that's my uh, very quick tutorial, and I hope it helps you out.